How's it going everyone? It's David here and I have made it to Cedar Point. We're about to go in and see what is new. I know they have the all new boardwalk section of the park, including a new roller coaster with the Wild Mouse. We're gonna go check that out as well as see uh, everything else in the park and ride some of our favorite rides. I'm starting the vlog here actually on the boardwalk and along the beach and in front of Hotel Breakers. Uh, this 1905 hotel is actually where I'm staying at this weekend and uh, it's a very beautiful hotel. We're staying at a parkside room so we get a beautiful view overlooking almost all of Cedar Point. It's really fantastic and uh, it really sets the mood for the day going into this big bustling and exciting amusement park that dates all the way back to 1870. So let's go in and try to have some fun. Attention riders, this is Dizzy. Cell phone news, taking pictures and filming are prohibited on this ride. Just rode the all new Wild Mouse roller coaster here on the boardwalk. It's a next gen Zamperla spinning Wild Mouse. And I thought, for what it's worth, it was actually kind of fun. It's a very short ride, though, uh, much shorter than, say, the one uh, Kenny would with Exterminator. Um, but I thought it was pretty smooth, pretty comfortable. It had some whippy moments and it did spin quite a bit. But uh, surprisingly, I didn't get too sick on that, which I was a little worried about going into it. What I do like is that the, um, the added elements around this, like there's actually some audio around the course. It's really goofy. Um, all of the vehicles uh, have names. I rode the Larry, the one right here behind me, and they had the cheese car. That looked pretty cool. I will say though, as you can see behind me, it's over an hour wait for this thing right now. I didn't wait that long, but now it is. And um, if you come here, I would not wait that long. I would say the ride, it's maybe like 30 seconds or so. And I will say the ride does look nice. I don't know if it's, say, a worthy successor to Wicked Twister. I wasn't the biggest fan of Wicked Twister. I think I have more or less the same opinions about this one. But, I mean, so far it's definitely more popular than Wicked Twister, at least in its final years. Um, but I still think it's a pretty good ride, just don't wait in this line.
I'm out here on the patio of the all new Grand Pavilion and they did a fabulous job with this. It looks like it's always been here. In fact, it kind of resembles the architecture of the Hotel Breakers. And um, inside they have um, full platters downstairs and then upstairs they have a snack bar uh, and a full service bar. Uh, the interior design is great with the wicker seating, uh, turn of the century style music, and the views here are fantastic of the park, of Lake Erie, and it's a good place to be to escape the crowds. It's very busy here today so far, so it's nice, quiet, and not very busy up here. My only complaint about this is that we had um, a meal here, and uh, all of our food tasted pretty salty. So it's early in the season, uh, hopefully that could get fixed. So the food, I wasn't real impressed with, but uh, everything else about this pavilion, it's fantastic, it's great. They definitely left enough room to possibly add another flat ride or two right next to the wild mouse. So from what I saw, Cedar Point did a very nice job with the boardwalk. Uh, there's kinetic energy, very powerful, a lot busier in this section of the park than it used to be. And uh, it's a good time. There's a lot of families here, especially. Um, I actually just rode a Troika Troika Troika. By the way, that's how you should call it. And that's easily one of my favorite flat rides. There's also uh, the Calypso, the Matterhorn, the Atomic Scrambler, the Giant Wheel. It's very nice, very complete. What they did with the aesthetics around here are also very nice. It has like a timeless feel. Some of it's like turn of the century. Other parts of it are from like the 50s. Other parts are from like the 70s. It's very nice. Um, I will say though, um, with them moving a lot of the flat rides over to this section of the park, I feel like it's not as evenly dispersed throughout the park. So like, for example, over like where Corkscrew is, that's where the Scrambler and the Matterhorn used to be. Now there's nothing over there. So hopefully they can uh, fill that in in the coming years. But um, I do approve of the boardwalk. It is very nice. So this is the former location of Johnny Rockets, which as you can see is now closed. And from what I've heard, this is going to be turned into a second arcade. Yes, a separate arcade from the Coliseum Arcade just across the way. And I also heard that there is going to be a mirror maze inside. 
So uh, we'll just have to wait and see when this opens up. Here is what's left of Top Thrill Dragster. This whole midway is uh, pretty much completely walled off. We still don't exactly know what's going to happen to this ride, but right over here by Iron Dragon are three massive footers. There's a rumor that there's going to be a reverse spike. It's going to be a multi-launch coaster where you're going to roll back go forward again we don't know but it's gonna definitely be an interesting development uh, most of the track is completely ripped up um, the station the brake run the launch it's all gone some of the supports are there but the track is all gone the only thing left remaining is the iconic top hat so uh, who knows about this ride uh, it's gonna be a very interesting development As I mentioned earlier, this is where the Matterhorn and the Scrambler used to be. And other than this set of restrooms over here, this is a pretty empty corner of the park. Again, not evenly dispersing the flat rides in my opinion, but who knows what uh, they'll make of this space. Although they did put planters and trees in here, which do look pretty nice.
you have to admit, Cedar Point is on their A game for merchandise. And that's going to do it here from Cedar Point. I wouldn't say we exactly had the best day here at this park. Uh, for starters, um, the park was very busy. A lot of school groups here. Um, and the rides had very long lines. Uh, on top of that, a lot of them kept breaking down. Uh, I lost track of how many times we were in line for a ride or we walked by a ride and it was broken. Another thing too was that a lot of the food stands in the park were closed and the few that were open had extremely long lines. Uh, so not quite the best uh, operation today. But for what it's worth, I still did have fun here. I mean, Cedar Point is somewhat of a local park. I've been on all these rides many times before. Um, I did very much enjoy the new uh, boardwalk area. That did look nice. And I even enjoyed the new Wild Mouse Coaster to an extent. One plus side that we had here on this trip is that we are staying here at the Hotel Breakers. We actually uh, retreated here in the middle of the day to get away from all the craziness. In fact, this is uh, where I'm signing out here. We got this gorgeous parkside view here of the park. And uh, yeah, I think this is a nice way to cap off the night. So uh, I will be back at Cedar Point, uh, hopefully sometime this year, if not next year. And uh, I'll still come out here and still have a fun time here at the point. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it and subscribe for more content. And with that being said, thank you all for riding and I'll see you next time.